माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर विभूति दत्त सिंह पी जी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जोलॉजी डी ए वी पी जी कॉलेज सिवान बिहार टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्लाइट एडेप्टेशन इन बर्ड्स फॉर बी एस सी पार्ट सेकेंड जोलॉजी ऑनर्स following are the soft topic to be discussed in the flight adaptation in birds point number 1 adaptation point number 2 flight adaptation in birds point number 3 morphological adaptation and point number 4 anatomical adaptation and point number 5 mechanisms of flight point number 6 questions and answer modules and point number 7 conclusions so first of all i can discuss about the adaptation and what is the adaptation adaptation is the evolutionary process whereby an organisms and become better able to life in its habit or habitat any alternation in the structure or function of an organisms or any of its parts that results from natural selection and by which the organisms becomes better and fitted to survive and multiply in its environment greater the degree of adaptation more in deviation from the normal morphology flight adaptation in birds actually the total flight adaptation in birds can be categorized under the two headings one is the morphological adaptation and second is the anatomical adaptation so first of all i can discuss about the flight adaptation in birds the term adaptations the term adaptation means modification in a structure and function in order to live successfully in particular condition birds lead on aerial mode of life and show in response to we this new environment and various modifications are meet with their the body structure and functional anatomy these modifications are called the flight adaptations and may be described as morphological adaptation and anatomical adaptations morphological adaptations key of morphological adaptations one spindle shape and ensure list wind resistance point with two high position of light organs lungs and air sacs and low position of heavy muscles sternum digestive system point must see low center of gravity and average location of weight of an objects then about i discuss about the segments of morphological adaptation and these are following morphological adaptations are shape and structure of body mobile neck and beak four limbs modified into wings hand limbs perching short tail with feathers bipedal locomotions and esoskeleton so first of all i can discuss about shape and structure of body actually the shape of avian body represents the sum of all its several adaptations the boot like shape of body facilitates birds passes through air offering little resistance the equilibrium of the body is maintained by the heavy central regions 
so you can see the external structure of pigeons already the a complete pigeons and can be protected by the soft and feather different kinds of feathers next showing the streamlined body of birds the body of birds completely the streamlined next mobile neck and beak the neck has become long and flexible so the bird can easily rotate its head for reaching its foot and can see all around the two jaws are toothless and are produced into beak which is situated for picking food making nests and perching you can see the mobile neck and beak next point four limbs modified into wings the four limbs have become modified as wing and act as a propelling organs for flight and they are provided with flight feathers or remises forming a fairly rigid and sufficiently flexible plan and are flapped with the aid of powerful pectoral muscles you can see four limbs modified into wings already in the case of the birds the four limbs modified into wings then after hind limbs the four limbs being converted into wings only the two hind limbs acts as a locomotor organs and this type of locomotion is known as the bipedal locomotion they have shifted towards forward for balancing and supporting the entire body weight they are also modified for and perching in response to arboreal life of birds the muscles are so attached to the toes that they automatically flag and grip the perch when the bird settles down on a branch you can see the complete structure of hind limbs of birds next point this is the perching perching strongly developed muscles show modified that when birds sits on a perch the toes automatically grips the perch you can see the structure of perch next short tail with feathers the tail is very short and bears long tail feathers or retrices which are arranged in a fan like manners the tail feathers together acts as a rudder and a steering and balancing elevations and depressions of the feathers and bring about a downwards movement then after i can discuss about bipedal locomotion hind limbs supports the body weight and acts as locomotory organs in the group next escoesqueletons feather are the characteristics of structure of birds feathers of various types of covers the entire body and surface making is it a smooth and streamlined very light hardly adequate in the birds serves as blanket enveloping ear around the body and adds buoyancy feathers of wings increases the surface armor for striking the airs then after 
I can discuss about segments of anatomical adaptations. Actually, the complete segments of anatomical adaptations and can be categorized under the following headings and like this flight muscles, endoskeletons. Endoskeleton maybe includes different parts like this the skull, vertebral column, sternum, girdles, limbs. Next point digestive system, respiratory system, circulatory system, sense organs, urinary system, reproductive system, last one thermoregulatory systems. So I can discuss about a step by a step by one first of all I can discuss about the flight muscles. Actually the flight muscles on the beak are much reduced and flight muscles on the breast are strongly developed. The pectoralis major is depressed muscles affecting lowering of wings. The pectoralis minor is used in the elevation of wings. Accessory muscles such as and coracobranchialis and coracohumeralis bring about rotational movement of the body wings. Tensor muscles keep the wings as stretched. You can see the structure of uh, muscles and different parts of muscles. Next point, endoskeletons. The the skeletal modifications are such uh, that the endoskeletons has become light and you to maintain rigidity and strength. To achieve this pneumatizations of bones along with their the reduction and function and fusions. Maybe the above the right light wings and filled with air special and without marrow in the adult. Then after you can see the complete endoskeletons of buds. You can see. Then after I can discuss about a skull. Cerebellums is the largest and most convoluted parts of brain for muscular coordination and equilibrium. The olfactory lobe is much more developed. You can see the complete skull bone of birds with beak. Next point, pigeons, a structure of brain. This is the dorsal part of brain and ventral part of brain. Next point, vertebrae. The first four or five thoracic vertebrae fuse to form a strong furculum against which the wings can work. The last thoracic lumbars and sacral forms a complex mass called the sine sacrum together with the caudal vertebrae. You can see the sine sacrum with the last pre thoracic vertebra. Next point this is a sternum. The sternum has a key like a structure for the injections of pectoral muscles. The backward elongated of the sternum supports the abdominal viscera. It is firmly attached to the coracoids. 
Next, the structure of lateral view of a sternum. Then after, I can discuss about the pectoral girdles. The stout coracoids is attached entirely to the scapula and posteriorly to the sternum. The scapula is also attached to the ribs. A characteristics furcula present in flying birds only is formed by the fusion of clavicle and interclavicle serving as fulcrum for the movement of wings. You can see the structure of pectoral gardens. Then after I can discuss about the limbs. Bones of four limbs are light with three digits more or less fused to each other. Digestive system. Next point. The metabolic rate of high in birds and so they require much food. The food is rapidly digested with a minimum of undigested matter and which is at once a white and so the rectum is sore. The sac like crop serves to store the food and the muscular gizzards grind it. You can see the structure of digestive system. The complete structure of digestive system. You can see the crop and the cloaca, etc. Then after respiratory system. Here in the respiratory system passes through in two breath cycles. On the initial inhalation, air is the passed through a straight ducts, the bronchi and mesobronchi to posterior air sacs. The following exhalation moves this into the parabronchi of the lungs. The second inhalations and moves this air on into the anterior air sacs. The second exhalation the passes to air through the bronchi and out of the system. Next point and you can see the ear sac and lungs of pigeons. Next point circulatory system. The heart is completely four chambered and there is double circulations. The blood contain more RVCs with high hemoglobin contents for rapid and perfect oxygenation providing more ox energy. You can see the bird's heart circulation double loop circulatory system and completely four chambered heart in the case of birds. Sense organs. My next point sense organs. The sense of sight and being acute birds eye is very large in relation to the head. Pactin helps in lubrication of eyes and detections a minute movement at great distance birds eyes possesses and double foxing mechanisms. Next point urinary system in order to make the body light urinary bladder is absent in birds as a measures for water conservation much water is absorbed in the urinary tubules and also the cloaca. The semi-solid urine is go to right off immediately. 
you can see the unity system of birds. Next point, a reproductive system, single ovary and oviduct in the female is weight reducing devices. You can see the reproductive system of birds. Next point, thermoregulatory system, the birds have developed warm blooded and four chamber heart, two auricles and two ventricles. The constant body temperatures assists in flight at higher attitudes. Then after I can discuss about mechanisms of flight. Actually the wings of birds are adapted for different kinds of flight. However, regardless of whether a bird's gut is or has a rapid flapping flight, the mechanism of a string after as similar. During flight, the wings become unfolded, stressed and raised vertically upwards. Down stroke is achieved by the action. The pectoralis minor so that the wings is lowered down. The wings is raised by the contraction of pectoralis minors and other muscles. During down stroke, the wings is thrust downwards like an or impairable uh, to ears, it moves forwarded and vertically upwards with little air resistance for the next powerful down strokes. The body moves forward in up stroke. Then after I can discuss about the questions and answer modules and this is the important questions. Questions number one and what are the different adaptations of birds for flying? Questions number two, how the feather helps in birds and during the flight? Questions number three, how does a bird's beak help it? Questions number four, how does the skeleton of birds help during the flight? Questions number one, what are the different adaptation of birds for flying? Answer. The body of the birds is adapted for flying. Birds have a streamlined body and hollow bones that make their bodies lightweight. The light chest muscles help in the movement of wings. Question number two. How do featherless How do feathers help the birds during the flight? Actually, the feathers provide insulation, waterproofing and reduce the body weight. The shape of wings and its ability to move through the air are needed for birds and plane flight. The strong best muscles help the birds to flap their wings. Questions number 3. Why cannot human fly? Answer. The bones of the humans are not hollow which makes them heavyweight and they cannot fly. In birds, the wingspan and wings muscles strength are in the balance of the humans. It's all about a strength to size ratio. Questions number Four, how does the bird's beak help? The beak of the birds helps them to find food for their survival. Question number five, how does the skeleton of birds help during the flight? 
answers the skeleton of the birds is extremely lightweight but strong enough and withstand the stress of tacking of a leadings they also have a smaller number of bones than the terrestrial vertebrates then after last one i can discuss about the conclusions after going through the above discussions the birds have evolved not only wings but may other adaptations that help them to fly birds have a strong but a lightweight framework of bones the birds have a spindle shaped body to offer less air resistance during flight this help the birds to conserve energy and becomes more efficient of flying a reference book thanks